Surgeons in New York have performed the first ever whole eye transplant in a human. They announced on Thursday an accomplishment being hailed as a breakthrough even though the patient has not regained sight in the eye. In the 6 months since the surgery performed during a partial face transplant, the grafted eye has shown important signs of health including well functioning blood vessels and promising look retina according to the surgical team at NYU Dr Rodriguez who led the team said that the mere fact that we transplanted an eye is a, is a huge step forward something that within centuries has been thought about but's never been performed until now doctors have only been able to transplant the cornea the clear front layer of the eye The recipient of the eye, Aaron James, is a 46-year-old military veteran from Arkansas who survived a work-related high-voltage electrical accident that destroyed the left side of his face, his nose, his mouth, and his left eye. The transplant surgery took 21 hours. Initially, doctors were just planning to include the eyeball as part of the face transplant for cosmetic reasons. Rodriguez said during a Zoom interview If the possibility of some form of vision restoration occurred it would be wonderful but there were significant concerns the goal was first to perform the technical operation ideally have it be vascularized and then whatever happens after that we we'd have to determine with future studies Whatever happens going forward will be monitored he said Presently the transplanted eye is not communicating with the brain through the optic nerve to encourage healing of the connection between the donor and the recipient optic nerves surgeons harvested adult stem cells from the donor's bone marrow and injected them into the optic nerve during the transplant hoping they would replace damaged cells and protect the nerve transplantation of a viable eye globe opens many new possibilities rodriguez said even if sight is not restored in this case the goal would be just what the next chapter will bring and whether this individual can see or not i think it's i think this offers a lot of opportunities to individuals researchers scientists that are working on the restoration of sight that this is kind of the next chapter that we could build on Other research teams are developing ways to connect nerve networks in the brain to sightless eyes through insertions of electrodes for example to allow vision he said James who had retained vision in his right eye knew he might not regain vision in the transplanted eye eventually and we talked about this we want to close off completely and that's not giving you any problem at all no. you're breathing okay at night and sleeping no issue The doctors never expected it to work at all and they told me that from the get go I told them even if I can't see maybe at least you all can learn something to help the next person that's how you get started he said hopefully this opens up a new path Well you know we're kind of at a point since this has never been done before nobody really knows what to expect You know, they they told me they said honestly, we never expected it to make it to the transplant. You know, I mean, they never expected it to work at all, and they told me that from the get go. But uh, but just the fact that it's a wild blood flowing through it, I mean, you know, that's that's the first step. You know, and and that's what I told them. I said, you know, even if I can't see. We tried it and have an eye there to begin with, you know, after the accident. You know, maybe at least, you know, y'all can learn something to help the next person. I mean, that's how you got to start it. You know, you got to start it somewhere. So hopefully this opens up a new, a new path. I mean, it's just incredible. Everything that it takes to, to get this done. and then the outcome for it to be like this is spectacular. I'm just so impressed. So excited and ready for the next chapter in this journey. 
I got up, went to work, and woke up six weeks later in Dallas, Texas. I was in Oklahoma, just south of Tulsa. But with that being said, uh, the hardest part was probably right then when I woke up. And we kind of realized what we had laid out in front of us with the rehab and the reconstruction thing, you know, and with my amputation. And I mean, just it seemed like a never ending path, you know. James might still regain sight in the transplanted eye, Rodriguez said. The quality of the vascularity from their standpoint is very remarkable. All the elements are there for us to be able to go to the next step. And I don't think anyone can claim that he will see, but by the same token, they can claim that he will not see. If at this point, I think we're, we're pretty happy with the result that we were able to achieve with a very technically demanding operation. Mm -hmm.